So we finally made it to one of my personal favorite characters in the Naruto series, the fifth Hokage Tsunade. To be honest, when I started this True Power series over two years ago, I wanted to do Tsunade right away, but I figured it'd be best to wait. Tsunade is a lot stronger than some of you guys think, and the information in this video should show you why Maru Chiha's statement that Tsunade is stronger than the fourth Raikage wasn't that outlandish. So jumping right into the fifth installment of this Hokage edition of the True Power series, Tsunade is a lot more skilled and a lot more powerful than you guys realize. In Data Book 4, it was revealed that Tsunade has mastery over Lightning Release, Earth Release, Water Release, Fire Release, and Yang Release. While Tsunade is most well known for a medical ninjutsu skill, it should be noted that her being a legendary medical ninja speaks volumes about her chakra control and skill, which means that if she were to focus her efforts in battle and were forced to use elemental ninjutsu then she would be able to whip out some pretty high level ninjutsu back to back without fatiguing herself when it comes to battle Tsunade is obviously more of a heavy hitter preferring to get up close and personal when fighting I guess you could say she prefers an intimate approach in battle since there's nothing more intimate than hitting somebody with your fist however there's more to this Kage female than just ground splitting punches She's actually really, really skilled when it comes to Taijutsu. In part one of Naruto, Kabuto was stated to be near the level of Kakashi, if not directly Kakashi's equal, which is no small feat. Kakashi was one of the elite Jonin of the Hidden Leaf Village based off of his own skill as well as the aid of his Sharingan. Tsunade, after nearly two decades of drinking and gambling and not doing any training whatsoever, Tsunade was able to casually keep up with Kabuto in battle, which poses the question of how well she would do against part 1 Kakashi since Kabuto was stated to be near Kakashi's skill level. Where Tsunade also has an edge is she's also the descendant of both the Senju and the Uzumaki clan, with her grandfather being Hashirama Senju and her grandmother being Mito Uzumaki. Tsunade inherited both the life force and the special chakra of both respective clans which led to some pretty impressive feats when you read the manga very closely. You have to remember this, Tsunade fought Madara Uchiha for almost a full day before she went on to help heal thousands of shinobi with the help of Sakura Harano. If she was not part Uzumaki and part Senju, it's arguable if she would have been able to have enough chakra and stamina to pull off both of these feats during the same day. Maybe she could have pulled off one, but I have no reason to believe that she could pull off both if it weren't for her lineage. Tsunade was also well known for her strength of 100 seal. This not only requires extreme chakra control to attempt, but Kishimoto wrote in Data Book 2 that this is the pinnacle of chakra control in the Naruto series. Basically, Tsunade stores massive amounts of chakra for an extremely extended period of time at one point in her body, most often her forehead. Once the seal appears in the focus point, the user is able to use various jutsu without wasting any energy doing so. But when the seal is released in battle, the user gets a massive amp in power. It should be noted that Madara wasn't worried about Tsunade until she released the seal, and then she went on to casually crack one of the ribs of his Susano. Seeing Tsunade in action quickly made Madara not only acknowledge her as being worthy of the title of Kage, but he also flat out stated that she was stronger than the Rai Kage who used his lightning chakra and speed to enhance his attacks. Even for someone like Sakura, releasing the seal allowed her the power to take down a pseudo Jinchuriki, which was shown in the Naruto epilogue novel Love Riding a Spring Breeze. It should also be noted that while it was never confirmed, this jutsu that Tsunade learned is possibly something she was taught from her grandmother uh, Mito Uzumaki since Mito was shown being in possession of a similar seal which once again could explain why the Uzumaki was so feared since technically this is a sealing ninjutsu and the Uzumaki were feared for their sealing jutsu so much so that it took down multiple nations teaming up 
all at once in order to take down their village. So with that being said, let's get back to Tsunade's fighting style. Going back to her usage of Jutsu, we've only seen her use one Jutsu that showed signs of elemental ninjutsu. In chapter 164, Tsunade's body pathway dearrangement jutsu used a small amount of lightning chakra which allowed her to scramble Kabuto's body's electrical signals that were being sent to his brain causing his limbs to move incorrectly in battle instead of moving a leg like he wanted to Kabuto would move a pinky or he would move his hand instead and it caused Kabuto to have to look at each of these neurological responses and have to figure out how to fight in battle despite this handicap this is actually in character when you think about it since Tsunade is someone who specializes in medical ninjutsu which brings up another aspect of her power when it comes to medical ninjutsu, the training and what it indirectly gave her. Just like Kabuto, Tsunade can use a chakra scalpel which means that when she uses it in battle she's actually pretty damn deadly since given Tsunade's knowledge of the human body she would be able to swiftly slice through the body parts and nick the artery of her target leaving them to bleed out and that's something you can't come back for. Tsunade's medical ninjutsu skill is also so skilled that Orochimaru was absolutely convinced that she could reverse the effects of the reaper death seal where Sarutobi sealed away his body's ability to use ninjutsu at least in the current host body that he had which also hints at the fact that Mito Uzumaki might have taught Tsunade more sealing jutsu from the Uzumaki clan since she would likely need to have knowledge of how the reaper death seal worked in order to heal Orochimaru. Tsunade's medical ninjutsu skill was also so great that she was able to reverse the psychological effects of Itachi Tsukiyomi which at the level that he used on Kakashi and Sasuke sent them into a complete comatose state where not even the best doctors could figure out a way to reverse the mental damage and trauma done by the jutsu. If that wasn't enough, Tsunade also has her fair share of knowledge when it comes to poisons and potions since she was the only person who could counter Chiyo's poisons during the second great ninja war and her potions were also good enough that not even the most trained ninja could detect the odor of her drugs which is also how she was able to put Jiraiya out of commission before the battle with Orochimaru and even when Jiraiya was fighting he wasn't at full power because of the potency of the drug that Tsunade used. Another area of note about Tsunade that we should discuss is the fact that Tsunade can actually use Genjutsu. While this is only in the anime, given the placement of where it is in the Naruto anime, this could be considered to be extended canon since the scene I'm about to share with you all takes place when Tsunade is returning back to Konoha to become Hokage, much in the same way that the anime used filler to have Naruto feel Jiraiya's ghost touch his shoulder after Jiraiya died. In this scene, Tsunade is shown using Genjutsu to bind her enemies, leaving them unable to move. Tsunade used a simple Genjutsu to strip away the movements of her targets and was shown being able to place more than one person under this Genjutsu at once. Tsunade Tsunade is also very well known for her chakra enhanced strength which both Sakura and now Sarada Uchiha use which is essentially Tsunade gathering chakra into one body part and then releasing it at the point of contact when she begins to attack her target. This is how she's able to split the ground in two casually with only a stomp or even using a finger. This chakra enhanced strength can even be deadly depending on how Tsunade uses it since it was stated in data book 2 that when she uses the heavenly foot of pain attack Tsunade can kill anyone who's caught in the immediate strike zone of this attack which makes this taijutsu blow one that you absolutely have to dodge. This attack sees Tsunade have her chakra enhanced strength be focused into her heel and then when she jumps into the air she delivers a falling axe kick that can casually create a crater. Finally, while this is only anime only, Tsunade was shown being able to activate the cells in a person's body simultaneously which is how she operated on Rock Lee causing his body to start repairing itself all while she operated on Rock Lee. When Tsunade does this, the body 
body begins to restore the damaged tissues and broken bone structures all at once, which speeds up the recovery. So, what did you guys think about Tsunade's true power? Like previously stated in the Sarutobi and the Minato video, I'm allowing you guys to choose the next series of characters I do for the true power series. On the Sarutobi video, I put up a vote for either the members of the Akatsuki or the Seven Ninja Swordsmen. In order to vote, you have to go to the community tab and you have to vote on that tab or you have to go back to the Sarutobi video and you have to vote in the info cards and I want you guys to tell me in the community tab why you want to see which of these two groups cover and who out of those groups you want me to cover first. As always, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share, and don't forget to let anyone you know who is a fan of the old content about this channel. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have an incredible day.